I was carrying this around everywhere. Look, the comparison. Man, that is a huge difference. First time, I think, after how long? One, two months that I ride the bus again <laughs> going to my school. Because every time when I went to school, it was a beautiful weather. I could use my skateboard, no problemo. But today, I don't know. Is it going to rain? We will see. <laughs> wow, okay. I have to say. Riding the bus is not so bad. Don't have to luggage any more electric skateboard around me. <laughs> Feels really good. So here's the plan now what we're going to do today. I'm going to have six hours of lesson today <laughs> instead of three that we usually have. And I also have to come here early in the morning, like 10 o'clock. And we'll be finished with until five o'clock. So it will be a long, long ass day. And hopefully, hopefully, the lessons are not going to be boring as I thought it will be. Okay, now it's lunch time. We learn many, many things in this three hours lesson. We learn more about today's storyboard. So I'm gonna tell you three important factors right now. First thing was <clears throat> that there's many, many storyboards, I can tell you. There's the first storyboard, there's the FX board, there's the animal board, there's the stunt board, there's, a <laughs> there's also a FFX board, you know, for your effects that I did not know. The reason why they do that is because of cost efficiency, if you can do that, if it's possible or not, or is it also, you know, can we do that? So that's the first thing. The second thing that I learned is that storyboards are really, really not that complicated as I expected. You have your story, you have your composition charts, you sort with arrows. It's like the basic foundation of animation, or if you want to do like a storyboard. But else, it's like very simple if you know the basic foundation. That's what I learned. So the third thing that I learned is scene shots. So what is a scene shot? So for example, if I'm standing here in this particular room, and then just switch to a different room like this one in particular, that is a scene shot. So those are the three important factors that I've learned actually. Yeah. Okay, quickly, what I'm doing right now, I'm at uh, one of the houses here because I need to go and pick up a microphone that I bought right now in uh, <laughs> from a seller. Hello. Hello. Lawrence. Now. Yeah, oh, good. Got it. Real mic. Perfect. So, we're gonna talk about the box that I pick up and see if this microphone, the Rode, is good. I bought it for how much? 30 bucks this product here and hopefully it will work wow that's huge my thumb fits here <laughs> so we're gonna do a test out right now right now i'm using the sony ecm cg50 and you can and you guys who are watching can tell me which one sounds better so this is how i sound with internal mic hope i don't sound really bad <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna switch so this is the Rode mic right now. I don't know how it sounds or if it sounds good or bad because I'm not editing but you can tell me guys which one sounds better. Sony ECM or the Rode mic or the internal sound which is the worst I guess hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to show you my mic now that I'm currently using and show you how big it is. This is my microphone. 
the shotgun microphone. And now look at this one. The Rode, the Sony cm 50 Look at that size. I mean, remove the socket and if I put up, look. <laughs> I was carrying this around everywhere. Look, the comparison. Man, that is a huge difference. Did not expect it. And the reason why I bought this Rode mic is because when I was selling my stuff like on eBay, my old camera, I included this $250 camera with my <laughs> camera kit. With this camera baby here. What I really like about it is how small it is. This is the Rode mic right now. And as you can see, it is small, compact, right? This is my Sony ECM-G CG50 and you, as you can see <laughs> how big it is. It is huge and I was like using this every time when I was going anywhere and I didn't like it because it was so clunky and big and it wasn't you know running gun suit. I couldn't put it in my, even my freaking backpack because of the freaking mic was so huge. So thankfully I can now finally switch to the Rode mic. Hopefully I'm not too loud anymore and you can hear me properly. <laughs> So, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll be seeing you in my next vlog. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I hope you guys also learn something from this one. And if you now know what format you want to buy. <laughs> yeah. See ya.